Instead of Slenderman, make a game called My Wife. And instead of collecting the eight Slenderman pages, you collect the eight My Wife is Divorcing Me pages. Hello all my freaks and creatures, and welcome to another itch.io game called Broken Through. You ever been on your computer? That crazy. I've been on my computer. All my friends are inside of there. That's also crazy. This, I don't know, I saw it and I thought, you know what? Why not give it a chance? A little bit of a longer one, I think. I've seen that some other big boys have played it. What about a small boy like myself? What about the little guy? Ava, we, is this narrated? No. Ava Williams' son, Leo Williams, went missing. Countless investigations and countless searches took place, but no glimpse of where he went. Seven years after this incident, Ava Williams got a letter saying that Leo Williams was declared legally dead. Since they were never found, they never found any evidence as to where he went or where he is now. Who just gets like a letter about legal death? Do you get a letter for like death legality or like is it up to the family? This is one of those things where I never know in like the video game or or movie world or TV world. Like, isn't the family responsible for getting the death certificate up and like going? Also, is it so messed up that I still say certificate even though chowder was years and years and years ago and it's certificate and I know that but certificate sounds way more satisfying. All right, let me press the any key. Where's that on my keyboard? Uh, today the any key is P. Let's see if we can break through. So is it going to be like breakthrough in terms of like mentality? Well, that should be everything. Thank you for stopping by. I know Leo would have wanted you to have some of his stuff, knowing how close you two were. But anyways, I guess I'll head back inside now. Drive safe, okay? All right, take care. Bye-bye. Oh, uh, all of his boxes. Well, let's got all these boxes into the truck. I hope it's all of Leo's Game Boy advances and all of his copies of Legacy of Goku. And, uh, the, they got, uh, they got the, uh, they got the Unabomber in Legacy of Goku. Did you know that? I mean, I know we're playing a scary game and it's got, like, the scary filter and, like, the fucking, I don't know, my head is a CRT TV or something. But did you know they got the, they got the Unabomber inside of Legacy of Goku? When I drive, do I actually drive? Do I control the driving? Because I would pog if a horror game actually let me drive. When, as a horror game enthusiast, uh, when are they going to let me run somebody over with a car? Oh, get the title scroll. Oh. oh, shit! They're hitting me with it right away. Thank you, Jordan. Look at you, Jordan. Real fancy with it, Jordan. I appreciate this, Jordan. Great job, Jordan. Whenever a singular creator, like, posts their name, I like to give them a lot of, um like boosts, like mental boosts. Hey, Jordan, great job, Jordan. Nice one, Jordan. Proud of you, Jordan. I'm like a, uh, I'm, I'm like a YouTube dad until I start bitching about the game. Okay, what the freak, already. I'm kidding. Oh, do I, you do control the car. Can I crash? Okay, you can. Thank God. I'm feeling them midnight munchies. I'll stop by 11-7 and get a bag of chips before driving home. I feel like a bag of chips. Like, you know, life is a lot like a bag of chips. Is sometimes you get a chip, and sometimes you open up the bag, and it's just filled to the brim with, I don't know, dust. Sometimes you open up the bag, and all the chips are congealed together in one big chip glob. What your life be like? Oh, man, I love a horror game that has, like, a... Okay, here's the location. You gotta go here. Can I not stop off at some creepy house and bust a load in their driveway? And by bust a load, I mean hit some fat smooths. I don't mean anything salacious, you freaks. I mean production of this? Incredible. Already. From what we've played here on the channel already, in the here it it, it came from itch.io segments. The production on this is 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 crazy. There is a scary monster behind here. Am I allowed out back? Come on, you gotta let me out back, the 11-7. You gotta let me out behind the 11-7. I wanna smoke a doobie with a dubious guy. Want some chips? Oh, give me a hot dog. Burger. Slushy. Slushy. Fruity. 
What kind of chips they got? They got- Oh, they got the bushes baked beans! I like how it's clearly just the bushes baked beans. Another favorite thing of mine is to check out, um... Items in stores in video games. Hey, did you, uh, did you pay the... They got a lot of beans. You- you pay them for their, uh, bean usage, huh? You, uh, you, uh, pay bushes baked beans? I don't know, did you pay them? They're gonna be real fucking mad if you didn't pay them. And also, why can I not eat Bush's Baked Beans as a little snack? Come on. You've never had a hobo meal, have you? Minmo moment! I think this is the person who made the shopping list, which I have played previously. So I'm not surprised that there is, like, real product here. Uh, what kind of a chip do we want? Dorito? Cool Ranch Dorito? Cheeto? Or Lay's Classic? What about Fit? Fat chips. Uh, you can call them fake things, but you used the fucking image for the real one, so you don't have to call them the fake thing. Lays. Now let me buy beans. Why won't you let me grab the beans if the beans are an option? All of these drinks are knockoff brands. Oh yeah, instead of Monster, it's Bonster. Instead of Bang Energy Drink, it's Boom Energy Drink. Cup Partner. Interesting. I want some of that. Give me some of that. Give me some spicy noodles. I'm too busy goofing in the 11-7. The adult diapers! Oh, yeah! Oh, they got gum. I love gum. Blueberry gum? What in the world? Oh, yeah. All right, we're fine. I'm normal. I'm filled, brimming with power. I see corn. What do they got here? These are, uh, are those combos? Those pizza combos? Give me a big bag of pizza combos. Those taste like shit. Slushy machine covered in ketchup. Oh, yeah. It's not blood, is it? I'd be real fucking scared if that shish was blood. Aye. Hersh, hersh, chips. I love chips. Hey, I'm just getting these chips. All right, let's see here. That'll be $2. But hold it. Do you really want to buy that bag of chips? It barely has any chips. Just air. Uh, yeah, I like the air. I prefer the air. I huff the air. You ever see Immortan Joe from Mad Max Fury Road? You know how he, like, huffs? The chip-flavored air is my favorite part. Maybe I could interest you in buying my own brand that I'm working on. Jordan's Jolly Jipper. 0% air, 100% chip. I'm gonna open your chips up, and it's just gonna be one big chip, ain't it? I even made a commercial for it. I don't think I'm interested. Sorry. Do you want to see the commercial? Maybe it'll change your mind. Is this a self-insert, Jordan? You made the game and now you're selling me chips, Jordan? Is that what's up? You know what, Jordan? Show me your commercial for Jordan's Jips. Jippers? Jo- 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 Yeah, okay. That's the guy who made the game. Hi, Jordan. I love you, Jordan. You're a cool guy. I love eating chips, Jordan. Yeah, I'm sick of it being air, Jordan. You tell me about it, Jordan. You hit me with some real fat stacks here, Jordan. That's cool, Jordan. I do love chips. I like potatoes with mouths. Whoa. You're going to get fired, Jordan. Not from, like, whatever job you work, but, like, you're going to get fired from this gas station. I'm just saying. You can't sell your own products, bud. That's fucked up. Do you want to try my chips? I'd love to try your chips. What the fuck? Please buy it. Yeah, sure. All right. I'm going to try your chips. Thank you. I'll give it to you for a dollar. Special friend price. Winky face. But anyway, it's three dollars for the two bags of chips. Three dollars. I'm going to give you three dollars and an extra penny. Keep that as a tip. Ah, thank you. I knew I was a good businessman. Anyway, have a good day. Um, bye. Yummy chippy. Jipper chippy for the big boy flippy. Love me a fat chip. Love me a fat dip. Not selling any dip at your fucking gas station, though, are you, bud? Not even selling any fucking motor oil. You know what? I should have bought a canister of motor oil, drank that whole fucking thing in front of him, established my prominence. I like driving the car. This feels pretty good. I, I played the shopping list, and I know this creator has another game uh, that has that kind of ambiance, and I, I think the only thing it's lacking in, at least for the shopping list when I played it, is I wasn't, I wasn't scared. I, like, I don't... I The second it starts getting real goofy with it, it's gonna take a lot for me to, I don't know, be able to be scared, so... 
We'll see though. I don't want to judge. I don't want to. I don't want to ruin anybody's jolly chipper. I uh, me when I get a big chipper. Gonna take that bag home and put it in the wood chipper. Oh, thank goodness I live so close to the grass station. All right, I got all heap boxes. What kind of a wild world am I going to emulsify myself in today? I'm gonna stick myself in a big volcanic rock and let myself cool off here. I don't have to move the boxes inside? What happened to them? Who took my fucking boxes, dude? Already- Hey, Jordan, Jordan. Jordan, I feel gypped here. My boxes are gone. Red door. Ah. Oh. I would love a more moving simulator. I don't know what it is, but I love, uh, based on a reoccurring childhood nightmare. You're doing this shit? You should have done this shit before I went to the gas station, bud. I used to have a nightmare when I was a child. It was reoccurring. You want to hear about my childhood nightmare? Oh. Uh, when I was a kid, I, uh, well, eat a chip. When I was a kid, I, uh, eat a chip. When I was a kid, I, uh, had this nightmare where there was a giant metal octopus in, in the middle of the daycare center. That's enough TV for tonight. Oh, I'm already sleepy. I only watch news and eat one chip. I can't eat more of the chips. Before I walk into the nightmare room, I'll tell you about my childhood nightmare, because I feel like it's important for you to know. Uh, there was a- I was like four, and in the nightmare there was a daycare center, and I was walking towards it, and it was a big metal building. And in the middle of the daycare center, there was a giant metal octopus with saw blades for teeth, and it would take the kids that were walking in a straight line, and like, eat them. They, the, the thing is though, is the metal octopus didn't move its like, tentacles. The kids were jumping willingly into the metal maw of the machine. And I was dressed up like a 1950s greaser. I was wearing like a leather jacket and sunglasses. And I, I, I'm, I'm telling you, this is like from four to five, I had this dream constantly. Uh, the kids in the line were moving, jumping into the giant metal mouth. And uh, I got to the giant metal mouth and I like, thumbsed up Fonzie style and also jumped into the giant metal mouth. I don't know why it'd be that way it do, but it do. Nosferatu! What if I'm not done with TV? What a beast of a TV. What is that, an 80-incher? What is that, a Vizio? Yeah. Yeah, let me see. Let me inspect the, uh... Let me, let me smell this place here. That a, uh... That a, uh, element TV? Let me, uh... I'm just inspecting the couch here. Seems like this is one of those roadside couches that he picked up. Good sectional, though. Good sectional. No footrest part of the sectional. So you get demerits for that. Um, let me, uh, let me sniff the TV here. Oh, uh, let me... Yeah, that shit a Vizio. That's a- that's not even a good Vizio. That's a bad Vizio. Sitting out here with the, uh... What is it? Kodiak? Kodiak? Not Kodiak. What's that one, um... What's that one camera company that released a TV for some reason? I'll never remember. I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna remember that. There you- years ago, there was a- there was a camera company that released a TV through, like, Target. And I'm still thinking about it. Any scary guy outside? I'll stay inside. It's cold outside. Okay, I said I was gonna go to bed, but what about games? A game? I love video games. I should give it a try on my computer. What is that? Funth World? Posters. Okay. Clo ugly clothes. Already owning your friend who disappeared, huh, bud? A bunch of books. Yeah, fuck reading. I don't care about literacy. You know what I do care about? Video games! Sorry if that was a little harsh on the ears. I'm, uh, working on my gamer opera. I like the scary windows right here. Really gives off a good sense of ambiance. How tiny am I? I got the big CRT. Putting this shit up on the big pewter. Large pewter, mind you. So what this shit called? What kind of a cool game is this? And what kind of a jump scare is gonna appear in the fucking stupid screen there? Ugh. Arrow keys. And the enter key. Got it. I'm not terrified or scarified at all. There's gonna be a scary face in there. Oh, credits. I don't care about the game. Show me the credits. Tom Thomas. Awesome guy. Oh, that's it. Okay, Tom Thomas made Fourth World. Cool game, Tom Thomas. Cool game. Oh, hell yeah. Is this gonna be one of those games and it's like a horror trope in this itch.io games where you're playing a game and, like, you get to part of the game and in the game is your house in the real, but it's still part of the game? Hi. 
you have a choice. Yeah? What's up? What's my choice? Tell me about it. Oh, do I keep, just keep going? You have a choice. Anything else? No. Uh, I have a choice every day of my life. All your choices are influenced in your life. You get to do thing. Build thing, make thing, whatever. You get up in the morning and you have like a plan for the day? Fuck that. It's all a bunch of liminal choices. I'm making them as I go. Oh, is that scary man hands with the scary man plan? Hi, scary man hands. Don't continue down this path. Why? Grow up, maybe. Will it lead to my house? Am I gonna like donk myself on the window with a scary screech like a- Wow! Oh god, dude. I'm gonna get fucking freaked out. I'm gonna fucking shit my pants, man. I'm playing this shit on the big pewter. I can't wait to see the scary face. Holy shit, I like that guy. Look at he. What a handsome feller. What if I just chill with you? Bro, we uh... We hang out sometime? You wanna try some uh... Some good chips? I know a gas station clerk. Beware of the man in the coat. Yeah? Cool advice, bro. Cool friend, cool advice, bro. I do not like a coated man. If a man is wearing a coat, I get a little bit scared. Oh, I can't wait to freak out. Game within a game. I'm gamer squared. Are they gonna hit me with something really fucking went wild? They're gonna hit me with a scary creature now? I'm waiting for it. That's the man in the coat. Hello, scary PNG. Are you going to smile dog at me? Hi. Would you like a lollipop? That's crazy, dude. Me when I'm electrified by my pewter. He has broken through. Yeah, this is literally just, uh, man. Crazy scary video game breaking into the real. I knew that would do that. There wasn't no goddamn way that they weren't gonna do that. Exit your room. Game real? What about my freaking light switch, bro? Doesn't work. Okay, I'll exit my room. Okay, I'll do what you tell me to do, scary crazy voice. That was a crazy face though. That was insane. I, I like, I, I've played multiple games that do that. And I don't know, something about like the haunted video game or like the scary video game, it doesn't do it for me. Jordan, you're doing your best though, Jordan. If I if I was the average gamer, the average consumer, the game has just begun. Thanks, Jordan. I appreciate it, Jordan. If I was the average consumer, I'd be a scaredy baby. But I I, I will appreciate what you've done. I like the drivable car. I like the 7-Eleven interaction. Um, where am I in the liminal cave hallways? Finish four of his levels or undergo a fate worse than death. What are you gonna do? Synthesize me? What are you gonna do? Kill me? What are you gonna do? Torture me for all eternity? What does this one say? To finish a level, locate the door. Okay. It just says dry. Dry. What is that, a dryer sheet? Where is he? Me when me. Where is he? Me when me. That says cry. Oh, it says cry. Beware of the entities. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Entities. Oh, brother. At this point, I'd rather just take a guy with an axe. I'm just saying. Or a shotgun blast to the face. Okay. Dry. Cry. I can't tell if it says dry or cry. Narrate at me. Exposit me. As I crossed the bridge, I had tears in my eyes, and I simply imagined myself diving into the water and drowning myself. Tom Thomas. That's the guy who made the game! They got Tom Thomas quotes in here. <sighs> Sorry, I feel like I'm being rude. I should ambiance myself here. Really let it all sink in. How do I- how do I play Tom Thomas's Graham? When am I gonna be able to play his Graham? Throwing apple at head. Ah, bridge. If I ever found myself in, like, the scary void, I... A bridge. If I ever found myself in the scary void, where with which they make the scary thing happen, um... I mean, what am I gonna do, right? 
Like, if I ever got my ass skinnamarinked into the fucking hellhole, what am I gonna do? Guy with seven years of retail who's barely funny online? Like, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna let the creatures take me. Oh, what about a fate worse than death, Brendan? Yeah, wh whatever. You tell me fate worse than death, and I'm like, there's not one. Realistically, what is a fate worse than death? They got dying on there. I mean, I guess, like, locked-in syndrome is pretty fucking scary, but at some point you're gonna die anyway. So at some point it's gonna end. What are you gonna do? Haunt me? What are you gonna do? Pass with care? What are you gonna do? Throw me in the river? What are you gonna do? Yump scare me? Honestly, taking the piss in these video games just makes me more powerful. If I was a serious guy- Ooh, I love looking. If I was a serious guy, I would definitely- That looks like the trick-or-treat creature. If I was a serious guy who take these games 100% seriously, I'd be so scared. But taking the piss out of them is what I gotta do to make myself as powerful as possible. I make my- uh, I make my jump scare noises as ridiculous as possible, so you think it's all fake. But in actuality, every time I make one of those noises, I'm really scared. But then that's also part of the gaslighting, because you don't know if that's part of the bit or if it's not part of the bit, right? Anyway, I love the bridge. When am I gonna see the troll? When are they gonna show me some of that troll hole? You know what's really scary? If they rendered your dad in this game, and he pulled his pants off and he showed you his ass. That'd be really fucking scary. That's how I'd be terrified. I'm gonna drink real quick, Jordan, I'm sorry. If you had a character, if you had a game where it played it for 10 hours straight, real serious style, whoa. If you had a game where it played it for 10 hours straight, real serious style, and then it was just your dad showing hole at the very end of it, I think that'd be the most scarring a video game could be. I don't know if scary video games really can do it for me. Um, some of the aesthetics here hit a little bit better than others, but I'm still wandering aimlessly with a reticule in my face, so... I- I mean, it's something- And also, can I just say, the, um, like, comic filter? That is all over the entire screen? Looks like the Minecraft villager? So it's really fucking with me? Like, hard style? Cause I just think I'm like... In the Minecraft villager's world here. I'm waiting to hear a- a, a hearty You know, other people may enjoy the ambiance, they may absorb themselves in it, they may accept the ambiance into themselves. Me, personally, I just enter the scary door to go to the next level for Tom Thomas. Brother of Dave Thomas, creator of Wendy. What else they got here? Oh my god, that was one. Where do I go now? I can't see shit. I came from here, right? Am I supposed to go a specific way? Two. Level two. Aw, oh, suck me in! We get another Tom Thomas quote? I love Tom Thomas quote. What's it say? Sometimes I wish I could just close my eyes and then be in a better place when I open them again. Tom Thomas. Also, probably in the theme song to Friends. I don't know. I'm sorry, scary quotes. I wish I could accept more into you, of you, into myself, but, um, I'm a burnt husk. Visually, narratively, uh, I lost interest the second you sold me chips. Red Ball! I love Red Ball. Thank you. <gasps> yellow Ball! I mean, I guess I go in the elevator. What they got in here? Oh, they got a key code? I gotta put a code in? Oh, I see. Red, green, blue, yellow. That's so crazy. I gotta count all the orbs. How many red orbs are there? There are two red orbs. That means the first number is two. Red, green, so two. Two red orbs. One green? Oh my god, two green? Wait, are there more red orbs now? There are three red orbs. Three, two? How many green are there? Three, three, two? Two green? Does it change every time? Let me see. Red, green, blue. So three, two? And then blue is one, two, three, four. So let's see, three, two, four. Yellow will be one. Three, two, four, one. Three, two, four, two. 
Wait, there are more blue. Yeah, three, four, three, two, three, two, four, two. We got this. Three, two, four, two. I know my fingers is. You're gonna be puzzling. Three, two, four, two. Ah, shit. What is it? What is it? Red, green, blue, yellow. Red, green, blue, yellow. One, red, ha, ha, ha. Two, red, ha, ha, ha. Oh, does it count them? Does it count the ones in the keypad, too? Oh, or does it count that one? Shit. So, four, two, four, two. Four, two, four, two? Damn, son of a bitch. Getting wacky and wild with it out here, ain't they? All right, so what are the fucking... Red, green, blue, yellow. Red, green, blue, yellow. I'm too stupid for this shit. Um, red. There is a when. Red. Ah, ah, ah. There is a fucking two. Red. Ah, ah, ah. There is a three red. That's a button. Oh, they're all button -yular. Three red. Got it. Three red. Got it. One blue. Two blue. Three blue. The four red. Three blue. Two green. Four, three, two, one, two. Four, three, two, two. Okay. Five, four, three, three. Does it not count those? Are there more in this room? Oh my god, dude. I don't know. I can't solve a simple children's puzzle. Built for stinky. Am I supposed to solve the- for diameter? Radius? Or am I just- I'm just counting it wrong, aren't I? I gotta be. One red. Two red. Three red. Three red. Then we got blue. One blue. Two blue. Three blue. Four blue. So three. Four. One, two. Three, four. So three, four. And green. One green. Two green. Three, four, two. Then yellow. One. There's only one yellow. Am I am I am I colorblind? Have I been seeing the green is yellow? Oh. One. One. So it's three, four. Uh one, two, three, four. What if I just don't? What if I just don't? What if I just don't? Am I strut locked? I can't press the button again. Okay, red, blue, red. Oh, I'm fucking it up. The green is second. Duh. Red, green, blue, yellow. That's what's fucking me up. I'm so stupid. <laughs> Unless it's changing it. Three red, two green, three two, four blue, three two four, three two four one. Bitchin'. Level two, the staircase. Oh, is that just to open up the second level? Dude, I freaking love the stairs. Don't you love that, um, a lot of these horror game narratives is just, like, taken right out of the SCP world? Can't wait to keep wandering down the endless staircase and then the scary monster get me. Close them immediately when you see him. What, my eyes? Ah, left click to close your eyes. When you see him, close your eyes. If he pops up, close your eyes. If you see him, close your eyes. It will be testing you. Close your eyes. If you see him, close your eyes, and then he not real. Oh man, this one's actually all right, the scare. The staircase is always scary. Always, like it's never not scary. The staircase is always scary. It's never not scary. It's never not heart rending. Just because you don't know when it's coming, he's gonna adrenaline pump me. You never know. Where is he? Is it going to be that same scary face from the pewter? They can hit me with the pewter face, Mark II. I hear the voices on the bird. I'm going to get scared. This one's going to get me. I know it. This is like the maze screamer, ain't it? This is like uh, Joseph's amazing Technicolor dream. Oh, I thought I saw him. Was that not him? I thought that was him. Was that not him? Or am I supposed to, like, see scary eyes in the darkness? Or am I supposed to see him? What'd he look like? What'd he be doing? What'd he about? What if he just chillin'? 
But I will say, the staircase always scary. It's such an easy fucking scare, too. It's such a simple fucking scare. Can't believe it gets people this fucking easily, but it gets me every goddamn time. That might be a holdover, too, for when I was- I was way more of like a scaredy cat. And horror was a OH SHIT! He's scary. He's scary. I'm not lying. He's fucking scary. The stairs are fucking scary. They just are! Jordan! Jordan, you did a good job with the stairs, Jordan. Whew. God damn, I hate the stairs. Something simple about just fucking go down the stairs. Dude, go down the stairs. The stairs are fucking scary. Oh god, I want to throw up. I hate that shit so fucking much. Go down the stairs. The stairs are fucking scary. It's like that, you know, you go down the stairs at 3 a.m. You're fucking thirsty. You know what the fuck's gonna pop up down there? Right? Your brain isn't fully processing what the fuck is going on. And you see a fucking scary fucking face. And you, oh, you render it, you realize it, it's not fucking there. It's not a real fucking scare. I fucking hate the stairs, dude. Oh, I hate the stairs. Ooh, I despise the stairs. I... Sloth, greed, wrath. Don't let them through. Gluttony, pride, envy, lust. Close the fucking doors. No fucking sins, dude. No fucking sins. No fucking sins. No envy, bitch. No wrath, bitch. None of this shit. Don't come into my fucking house, dude. Close the fucking door. I'm a prideful man. I'm a Christian man. The sins will not get me. Stop being so fucking wet and sticky. I'm a prideful man. No sin in here. Falling this shit right out of the sin bin. Me when I click on door. Real good? Am I good? How long do I have to do this for? How fucking- Why are they getting so wet and wacky and wild with it? Stop it. Why are all the sins the same? Stop it. Fat fucking cinema sins out here. They're gonna fucking ding me. You done? Grow the fuck up. Stay in your room. You're all in trouble. No. What did I say? Oh, Thor! You're all in trouble. Alright, are we done? Am I free? Did I free up level two? Did I fucking win it? Am I in it to win it? Am I sin it to win it? You get it? Because it was the seven deadly sins? <laughs> Three! Now, how stupid am I gonna be about this? Because I feel really stupid about that fucking orb puzzle from earlier. And Jordan's already starting to get me. The stairs are an easy scare for me. They're baby easy. That's a Benadryl. Because that feels kind of what like I'm on. I'm on the Benadryl high. When me and my wife got divorced, I could still feel myself crawling after her and the darkness crawling after me. Tom Thomas. I'm sorry, Tom. You could have been a better husband, Tom. Uh, maybe if you, uh, I don't know, washed her feet more. So words of wisdom from Brendan. If you're having trouble in your relationship, wash their feet more. They'll love it. That's not a real thing. I don't, I don't wash my wife's feet. That'd be really odd if I did. Now people are going to be fucking posting, Brendan, you do that, don't you? You wash your wife's feet. And we're like, what are we, like 30 minutes in or something? And I'm talking about washing my wife's feet. Oh, is this a ventilation duct? I'm not scared anymore. You got me with the stairs. That was a good scares. This shit, I'm going to give you five seconds of ambiance. No talking. A little bit of a Brendan break among us. Divorce, this says so much about society. Me crawling through the vents because my wife put all the divorce papers in there and she legally won't divorce me until I go through the divorce vents. <laughs> Listen, until you go through the divorce hole, this divorce is not finalized. Man, oh man, this is a crazy way to give somebody the papers, right? This game says a lot of things. This game says a lot about society. More broken through, more like broken up, dude. Can we get more divorce papers? It'd be so cool. We're collecting them like Slender Man. Instead of Slender Man, make a game called My Wife. And instead of collecting the eight Slender Man pages, you collect the eight My Wife is Divorcing Me pages. Ah, red scary. 
I'm gonna take a drink, Jordan. I hope you don't jump scare me. I'm readying myself for a Jordan. Is it hot in here or is it just me? There's gonna be a scary creature in there. I'm gonna take a drink. Mm. Now that's some good water. Now, am I gonna get dead-ended or am I gonna get like, in the distance there is a creature? I wonder. I just like crawling through the vents and having a good time. I like slopping my fat wet body through here. Listen, I cover my body up with grease. It's a good time. I'm not turning around. It's not happening. But there is going to be something scary there. I'm feeling it. There's something behind me in there. I'm not turning around. I'm not looking at the creature. Why would I look at the creature? What am I, stupid? Only an idiot looks at the creature. I go right this time. I went left last time. Only a foul fool looks at the creature. The idea of a creature is way scarier than an actual creature, though. I will say that, Jordan. You're doing pretty good, Jordan. It's definitely an upgrade, Jordan. I'd like to see Jordan to have, like, a full video game. I mean, I mean, not to say that this isn't a full video game, but, like, you know, just a little bit more. And vented. Sussed. I was, I was gonna turn around, there was gonna be an Amogus creature just there, wasn't there? Like, Funko Pop style. Ow! My leg! The bork! I follow Arrow. I know where to go. I love being in the stone cavern. Now, what there be in the darkness? Some crazy guy? Or are we, like, divorce? Are we still not done? Is level 3 still going? You got more in level 3? What's up, Tom Thomas? I am done. I finished the game, and now I feel much better. I feel like a different person. The man in the coat. Ah, Tom Thomas became different styled because video game real. I'm sorry, haunted video game. Haunted video game will never do it for me. Part of the reason I dislike haunted video game is it uses the medium to tell a story about the medium, and it's been done so many fucking times before, it's been done a million times, and I just can never get behind it. Like, MyHouse.Wad is probably the best quote-unquote haunted video game. And I I still have problems with MyHouse.Wad. Mostly in, like, the narrative. Even though it's a really good uh, Doom level slash video game. Hi! Hello, crybaby. Why don't you uh, grow the fuck up, maybe? We are all as human as you are. You're our only hope to save us all. Tom Thomas has been corrupted by the Entity, including his game. The Entity transformed his creation into an endless loop in which Tom Thomas relives his darkest times in life over and over again, through each level. The Entity feeds of torturing the innocent by luring people into this corrupted game. But if you bring Tom Thomas back, you bring all of us back. Okay. I don't really care that much. Is that Tom Thomas? Orb. Is Tom Thomas in the pain and suffering orb? Hello, Tom Thomas. Dude, what's up? Hey, Tom Thomas. Looking pretty righteous, dude. Barney Gray, missing since January 5th, 1992. Oh, sorry, Barney. Kind of a, is this like a scary face montage now? Hey, Tom Thomas, found your orb. Hey, Tom Thomas, found another orb. Where's my friend at? Is this my friend? That's Tom Thomas, the man in the coat, right? No, that's Carlos Bull. Last seen buying a game. Ah, it got that, uh, what is that, Mandela catalog face on it? Dude, have you seen the Mandela ca- Dude, do you know Analog Horror, dude? Dude, have you seen Analog Horror, dude? Dude, Analog Horror, dude, you gotta see some Analog Horror, dude. Analog Horror is so freaking cool, dude. I'm sick of Analog Horror. When are they gonna make proto-Analog Horror? Oh, man. Dave Owens. Last seen in his bedroom. What is that, Jim Carrey? I like him, I'd hang out with him. Dave Owens? Now that's a guy I'd like to meet. Good vibes though, really good vibes on this one. I'm gonna say like, five out of 10 vibes on this one. That a big orb, is that Tom? That The big orb's gotta be Tom, right? Or my friend? My friend? Yo, Leo Williams! Missing since March 95, last seen playing a game by a lake. On the CRT? Did they port this game to Game Boy? 
Do you know how to get to the lake? That my friend. Hi, are you Tom? Many people who have gone missing have actually just ended up here. Do you know anything about Leo Williams? Ah yes, he's the one who's gotten the farthest in the game out of us all. Are you too close by any chance? He was my best friend. He went missing seven years ago and we all thought he was dead by now. Well, in that case, I could help you catch up to him. There's a glitch on this map that will spawn a door. This door will send you back to your reality for a very short amount of time. If you manage to make it to the same place where Leo was taken into the game, you will end up at the same level as Leo when the man in the coat brings you back into the game. To do the glitch, all you need to do is spam the spacebar when you're a bit further out. Also, be cautious when you're back in your own reality. The man in the coat might try to kill you for breaking the rules. Good luck! I'm spamming the spacebar. I'm figuring it out. Oh, okay, it pops up. Yeah, get owned! You suck at making video game, man in the coat. You fucking blow. Man in the coat be like, blah, 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 and I'd be like, nah, I'm gonna go buy more chips. If I hand feed the man in the coat, like uh, he's a man in the goat, do you think he'll let me be? Oh, it's like a short amount of time. Where do I gotta go? Living room? Does anyone know how to get to the lake? Oh shit, I keep going the wrong way. Does anyone know how to get to the lake? Does anyone know how to get to the lake? I gotta get in my truck, dude. I gotta run over the man in the coat. What if I just run him over? Drive to Leo's last known location. Does anyone know how to get to the lake? I'm digitizing right now. I'm realizing. All right, time to get to the lake. We driving dirty, we riding dirty. What if I just went to my neighbor's house and I just disappeared in front of them? What'd they do? Alright, how they gonna- how they gonna scare me real style? Keep your eyes on the road. Are they sending fucking scares at me? Let me run them over, oh shit. Oh yeah, he trying to get me. Oh yeah, he trying to infect reality with his greasy grabbers. I, you know, I gave this game some shit. Jordan, I gave your game a little bit of shit earlier, but honestly, I, I vibe with it. Especially for free. Right? I hope you continue to thrive and make new experiences. Because this is definitely something that you won't get from your average video game. This is something that, like, is pretty cool, pretty neat. But it's not quite all there yet. So I'm not like, you know, I'm not scarified. But I will say... Uh, making something wholly original in today's modern age is really hard. So what is here is a, a wonder to experience. This is another reason why I play itch.io games is uh, really just to experience them for myself and to also see what people are coming up with. And also, so I can get to the lake. Can you tell me how to get to the lake? Leo, my friend, are you at the lake? Leo, at the lake. Leo, at the lake. On his laptop. Leo, are you at the lake? Ah, oh, get in the game, inside the game, within the game. I mean, I can like complain about the entire genre um, and how it is hard for me to really care about horror. Uh, some people use like harsh noise and cheap jump scares. And uh, you know, even if it's something that feels like it's based on something else, at least it is wholly original. Oh, dude, can I type now? Player two joined level. Is he uh, in the lake world? Are we both in the lake world? Where my boy at? Right. Where my boy? Oh. You know, crazy shit. This was never a video game at all. We were all locked in a crazy fucked up womb. Whoa. But what if we beat the game? But what if I don't- What if I- What if I beat the game, and then I eat the game, and then I yeet the game? Ah. Oh, I see. Ah. Oh. Where my boy at? Oh, my boy! Hey, friend. Leo? Please help me, Evan. 
Oh no, my boy. He got gronked. All kind of fucked up. His ass got gronked. Tom Thomas and the entity are cooking up something fucking crazy style. All right, Tom Thomas. All right, entity. We got a boss fight because that'd be really funny. It would be really gamer style if they gave me a boss fight. A man in the coat. Me win the man, me win the coat. What's up, bimbo? Oh, he's firing laser beam at me. This guy sucks at it. An unknown error has occurred. Bro, this guy sucks. Is it Tom Thomas's world? Can I click OK? Save the corrupted souls to save Thomas. Got it. Orb. What I gotta do to save him? He got the scary skull head. That's so crazy. Do I gotta like go into the soul that are trapped inside the video game because of an entity? Level 32, despair. Find Barney Gray. Ah, okay. Got it. Barney. I gotta follow the gray line. Right? Because that leads to gray. Is that the bit? Is that the bit? Is that the bit, Jordan? Is gray at the end of gray? Or am I like, am I like thinking way too hard? Was I just supposed to like kind of find him good style? I'm going to keep following the gray line. Maybe that uh, is his progress. What he be playing out here? He be up playing with he worm? Barney! Am I running in circles? Or am I making poggers rest? I don't know. I feel like this has gone on for a while, the funny maze. There he is. Okay, follow the gray to find the guy. Barney! Are you at the red scary door? Oh, gee, Fred. <laughs> Why should I even try to progress anymore? I'm just, uh, gonna end up dead in, in another level. Barney! I can help you if you help me, Barney! Gee, Fred, I don't need any fucking help. I'm fine with staying here. I can get you home, Barney! Oh, gee, I sure would like some chips. Home! Yes, I just need you to trust me, Bonnie. Do you trust me, Bon? Oh, gee, Fred, you've been my friend for years. Get inside of my soul hole, Barney. Is there a, how much Barney Gumble and Fred, not Barney Gumble, but Barney uh, and Fred porn is there, I wonder? How often do you think they fuck? One out of four. That's so cool. So they're like little mini games within it. I like, uh, this isn't exactly it, but I do like WarioWare Horror. And, uh, Spookware does that really well, so I always recommend Spookware to anybody who's looking for a weird video game. Orb. I feel lost. Hello, Carlos, it's me. Ba, 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 Fred Flintstone. Would you like to listen to your favorite song, Carlos? Would you like to listen to a vinyl record? Oh, I remember this. Fucking got him. I used to listen to this tune all the time. <laughs> the kids always used to beg me to turn down the volume. And me and the guys used to play cards while listening to this. <laughs> yeah, save your soul. Give me the beef, boy, and free your soul. I wanna get lost in your scary hole and drift away. There we go, new soul. So we just do these in succession. I thought I was supposed to like dodge the laser beam. So this is a, this is more of an on rails experience than I uh, accepted. Hey, this is the level I'm at. That crazy depression level, bro. Same, honestly. Where he at in the depression shack? That's where I find myself when I'm quite sad. Catch me out in the sad shack, being a sad sack, being a big sack of sad boy. How he house do? What he be doing up in here? Whoa! vault -Tec calling. Leave me alone. Hey, man. Is everything all right? Not, nah. 
everything is not alright. No. What's wrong? <laughs> I... I pooped my pear. I don't know. I just feel so empty. I hate the feeling and I can't even explain why I'm feeling it. I don't know, I eat a, eat a really big sandwich. It helps sometimes. And there are points in my life where I can't tell if it's like hyper depression or if I'm hungry, right? And then I'll eat something and I'll be like, oh, I wasn't sad or depressed or empty. I was hungry. Hey, listen, there will always be moments in life where you feel as if nothing matters. A feeling that you'll never feel better again and an urge to give up on everything. But I promise you, it gets better in the end. It does get better. Sometimes it gets worse and sometimes it gets better. Please don't isolate yourself. I'm here for you if you'd like to talk. Sometimes it'd be like that. Breaking you out of the sad hole might take a person taking that extra little effort. I'd like that actually. Get up in my soul hole, Dave Owens. You're not alone. Thank you. No, thank you, Dave Owens. Thank you. Now, what the, what the, what the, what the next level be like? Oh, it's just Meat World, and it's like level 999. Level error. Grandson safe zone. What does that even mean? Grandson safe zone. I'm trying to get you some cookies and milk. Ah, did, uh, I don't know, did, like, scares not work, so you gotta entice them with riches? Or is this, uh, is this, uh, Nana's grave? Oh, hi, Leo. Have I been forgotten, Evan? Nah, dude. Did anyone even remember me after I disappeared? Yeah. You haven't been forgotten. At all. I've missed you so much, Leo. And so has everyone else. Oh. Uh, that was easy. Leo was easy. Evan? I want to go home. Okay. I mean, we'll try, buddy. Let me beat the man with the coat. The man with the soul coat. He's the scariest guy of all because he fused with the mysterious entity. Bro, have you even heard about the entity? Bro, have you heard about the entity? The entity pretty freaking scary, bro. Bro, have you heard about the entity? Shit's scary, man. I read all the lore. I'm keeping up with the lore. I'm broken through. Oh, dude. Do I gotta do these in order? How do I... How do I fucking... I, only, I can only click one. Am I supposed to... Shoot him at him? I don't... Hi. Did I break it? Oh, oh, duh. I gotta put it on the soul pillar. Got it. Okay, I'm carrying him one soul at a time. That old adage, put the soul on the soul pillar so you can be a determinate hole killer. Look at that, shish. Be gone, evil entity. Summoning the soul of Tom Thomas back into the reality of the world. I love helping my new friend Tom Thomas get over the grief of he wife. Hey, Tom Thomas. How you doing? Thank you, Evan. No. Thank you, Tom Thomas. You've not only saved me, but you have saved us all. That's so cool, bestie. I can now send all of you back to your families. Aren't you coming with us, Tom Thomas? I'm fine with staying here. You have already killed the entity, so by staying here, I can live in peace. Here, I can truly be happy. Where's the fucking... But now I think it's time for you all to return home. Where's the... Where's the trick? Where's the Joker's trick? Thank you, Evan. Is there no Joker's trick? Is there a pleasant ending to this? No Joker's trick? Real? I'll take it. But I swear to God, if there's a Joker's trick, I'm gonna be disappointed. 
I just like a happy ending once in a while, you know? Not everybody's got to be doom and gloom and despair and no hair, right? Not everything has got to end with you feeling incredibly bald. Sometimes you can end your horror game happily. Hell yeah. You know what? Jordan, I'm going to give you props for that specifically. Jordan, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you props, Jordan, for specifically, specifically making it not fucking depressing at the end. Honestly and earnestly, I, if, if this ended on like a sad note, I would have been so deflated, but I'm still waiting for like an after, <laughs> I'm waiting for, is there going to be an after credit scene? Dude, are they going to hit you with it? What, what about the entity? What about the never ending need to never end your franchise? So things got to stay scary forever. You know what, Jordan? Scary nightmare. A haunted video game. I don't like the format. Somebody's going to like it a lot more than me, but I appreciate the effort and I appreciate the game itself ending on a non horrible note. All right. Well, that's going to be it for broken through. Hope you enjoyed an extra beefy, scary game uh, for Yachttober. Uh, we're going to play more itch.io games as I find them and see them. If you have any to recommend to me, scream at me, yell at me, anything you got to do, and I'll check them out. Hope you all have a good rest of your morning, noon, or night, and I will see you on the next Brendaniel 2 video. Bye.